Development most often starts with a fertilized egg. The young organism will grow and mature and finally become a parent of the next generation. However, in many cases, things are not that simple. In shallow rivers, streams, and swimming pools around the world live the nematomorphs, also called hairworms. For part of their life, these thin worms are parasitic and need to feed in another organism. However, hairworms face a small problem. They need to feed in land insects, such as crickets. To solve this problem, as larvae, they wait for another insect that grows in the water, such as a midge, to eat it up. Inside the midge larva, these worms will form a cyst under the midge's skin. Packed away, the hairworm will not bother its first host at all, simply waiting for the midge to complete its growth and go inland. The midge will eventually die naturally. Once the midge dies, carnivorous land insects will not miss the opportunity to eat it, along with its sneaky hitchhiker. This continues the hairworm's journey. After being dinner twice itself, finally, the hairworm gets its chance to eat. Upon entering the cricket's digestive system, it will feed and grow more than 10 times longer and 4 times thicker. The growth is so dramatic that it may displace the other organs in the insect. Despite leaving its food supply, the hairworm will have to return to the water for mating and producing the next generation. To get back to the water, hairworms insidiously manipulate their cricket hosts. This happens in two major steps. First, the hairworm will send signals to the cricket's brain to make it act erratically making it move around in a random fashion. Crickets in this stage will frequently be found in atypical locations and will often end up near water. The second stage is a little more dramatic. The hairworm will alter the signal to make the cricket suicidal. Upon finding a stream or even a puddle, the cricket will jump in, usually to its death. Though the cricket's life may be coming to an end, the hairworm's journey is not yet over. Other water predators like frogs would love to eat a delicious cricket, even with the worm inside. To prevent being eaten again, the hairworm ejects itself out of the end of its host's digestive tract. It rapidly emerges, leaving the cricket to drown or be eaten. The hairworm will then find many others that have completed the same journey. In the stream, these hairworms will then mate and reproduce, starting the adventure anew.